Hi, I'm Larry Wood at Van Buren, Texas Real Estate. Today I want to talk to you about the purchasing process, specifically uh, a residential property. So if you're like a lot of my clients, it may have been 10, 20, 30 years since you last bought a house. So uh, a lot of the processes uh, may be different from the last time you bought uh, and, and probably you just can't remember the last time you bought a house, what all happened. So I want to kind of refresh you and take you through the process. Uh, I really implore my buyers to go talk to me, we'll, we'll figure out a good lender, but get pre-approved uh, before you start looking at your property. It saves a lot of um, uh, sadness and despair uh, if, if you don't qualify for what you thought you would or maybe you see some credit problems or what have you. So go ahead, bite the bullet, get pre-approved from your lender and that way you, you, you've got the peace of mind that you know that going forward uh, this is how much I can afford, this is what I can do. Uh, so that's you know, one thing off the list to do before you uh, go out and look at properties. The next thing to do is get with me and let's go find you a property that you like. Uh, so once we do find that property and you want to make an offer on the property, uh, we, we do the paperwork and um, put an offer together and then pass that over to the, the other side of the seller's agent. Uh, give them the offer and they're going to take it to their clients and discuss it. Typically, they're going to counter back uh, with an, uh, a higher number uh, or you know different uh, anomalies within the contract. Uh, so they'll counter back and, and give that back to us. So we'll put our heads together again, either counter back or accept their offer. So once we do accept the offer, you're going to have earnest money to put up front, uh, which goes to the title company. Now, earnest money is going to be 1% of the purchase price of the home. So if it's a $200,000 home, then you're going to have to put $2,000 uh, worth of earnest money uh, in form of a check. And we'll take that to the title company and they'll cash that check and put it into an escrow account for you. Uh, one more check for is the option money check. The option period uh, is the space of from 7 to 10 days. If you've got a septic system and a water well and things like that, to inspect, I, I typically will go for a 10-day option period. Each day of an option period is $10 a day. That's just the going rate. So for a 10-day option period, uh, you make a check out to the actual seller for $100, uh, and that gives you 10 days to do your inspections, uh, renegotiate if there's any issues that pop up during the inspection. Uh, and if, if it's something that we just can't overcome, it, it's, you know, the house is riddled with termites or whatever the case is, uh, that, that $100 option period uh, allows you to walk away from this contract uh, and, and that's it. All you've done is surrender $100 and you go on to the next property that you like and we'll, we'll, we'll try to get on that one. Uh, if you move forward and make it through the option process, everything goes well. Uh, then we move out of the option process and into what is pending status. Let me go back for just one more second. If, um, if we go and we do the inspections and, and let's say there's, there's several you know, things, maybe it's a thousand dollars worth of things that we found that, that we feel that the seller needs to uh, compensate us for. We can go back during that 10 day option period and renegotiate and say, hey, we'd like you to fix X, Y, and Z. Typically, we're just gonna say, hey, this is what we found that needs to be fixed and we would like you to contribute a thousand dollars at closing to the buyer so they can have those things fixed. So it, it just cuts out a lot of the, the time uh, of them trying to, to fix it. Not, they're trying to move. So the last thing they want is a bunch of repair people having to coordinate that and have them run around fixing things. So typically we'll just take money in, in lieu of having them fix something. So, okay, we're moving forward. We're into the pending process. So now we're waiting on uh, if there's a survey that needs to be done, uh, we'll have that completed during this process. Uh, and also, your lender is going to have an appraiser go out and appraise the property. So, uh, the appraiser is, is appointed by the bank out of a pool. Uh, and, and right now, that's taken, you know, it can be two, three, four weeks for the appraisal uh, to actually come back to us. Uh, so, what we want is if you're paying $400,000 for this house, for this house to appraise for $400,000 or more. Uh, so you know that you're, you're paying what you should be paying for this property. Um, once we, we get all that done, the appraisal's in, it was good. Uh, we've had all our inspections, they're good. Uh, then we move to the close and we go 
back to the title company. Uh, if you're from out of town, we can close remotely. Uh, depending on your situation, we'll figure that out. Uh, but we get to the close, you bring your, you know, however much money that you need to put down on the house, uh, and then the, the mortgage company pays uh, the rest of the amount to the seller of the property, sign all the paperwork, and it becomes your property. Uh, the process typically takes anywhere between 30 and 45 days. A lot of that depends on what type of loan that you have, how long it's going to take for the appraisers to come out here. Being in a rural area, uh, we have far fewer appraisers that want to come out here and do appraisals. Uh, but typically you, you can count on 30 to 45 days. So that's the process uh, you know, from a high level of, of what goes on uh, during the time of, of uh, making an offer to close. So. We can go through it in a lot more detail, but those are the, the high points. I hope you enjoyed watching this and learned something. If you have any questions, give me a call. You can reach me at 830-460-0889 or take a look at our website. It's BanderaTexasRealEstate.com. Thanks a lot.